Uh, it was, it's been a hell of a run um, with this group. The um, I said before, you know, I, I dreaded this press conference because uh, it mean that it means that I don't get to coach them anymore. And uh, they've been just a tremendous group, and uh, the the love that was formed. Like people think it's easy, and and that you know teams just come together. It's not. And you know, it was formed in that dugout, in that fight that you saw for the last three days, four days. That's who this team is, and it's it's going to be tough not being able to coach that team anymore. And just so proud of them. They've. Um, They've they fought to the bitter end. There's no doubt. That's it. Um, Bobby, I know this moment probably sucks right now, but you know, you look back on what this team has accomplished, you know, can you just kind of put that all into words, I guess? You know, I mean on the field, I mean Jason can tell you some numbers about the accomplishments we had. Um, you know, it's just a. The, the grit and the fight and just uh, how this run has brought so many people together, you know, and um, from past players um, that are here, that made the trip all the way out here. Uh, it just, you know, Jason tries to get me to talk about this during the season all the time, and I won't. Um, and I always tell him we can look back when it's over. Um, so I, I, haven't, I haven't had time to really take it all in, but, um, you know, I think they'll go down as, as a pretty special group. Peyton, when you hit that home run off back, it looked like you just kind of left the fastball up and in. I, were you looking for anything in particular? Were you looking for something that you can maybe take out? Because it looked like the, the ball was carrying pretty well today. Um, I was just trying to get something elevated. I knew he was going to come in with fastball. Uh, they've been beating me all day with the fastball in. So uh, I just took a few steps off the plate. I looked for something over the middle. And I just got in that jet stream. And I luckily got it over the fence. Bobby, just the decision of when to make the pitching change and if there were any thoughts there in the, the ninth of, of finding someone else outside of Jose. Jose's been our guy, you know. I mean, that's the same guy that came in in the conference championship game and through the last four innings. You know, I, uh, I just took good swings, you know. I took good swings, and every time he made a mistake, they made him pay for it. So um, I had made the decision when he rolled out there that we were going we were gonna to win it or lose it with him. He deserved it. You know, he deserved to have that – um, that moment on our team, and it just didn't work out this time. It's worked out a whole lot of times with them out there this year. Uh, Lenny, obviously there's some familiarity uh, between uh, y'all and LSU. Um, going into this, uh, what, what was y'all's mentality, uh, you know, knowing that LSU is who they are in Louisiana, and uh, you know, were you guys kind of hoping to be able to end their season, kind of put that little feather in your cap? For sure. Uh they're always a great team every year in and year out. They're top ten in the nation, early polls. And you know what? We attacked though. We wasn't scared, and we were going to give them our best shot. And just things happened today, and it went their way, and, and they got the win. But I think that they know that we were there to play. Coach, how uh, frustrating was it to get that close? I guess two outs, maybe. I wouldn't call it frustrating at all. Um, I would call it what I expected to be there, you know, to be there in the end. I expected it. We talked about before the game. I mean, it, was, it wasn't a, a midweek game that we go down to, to uh, Alex Box and, and get a post-game meal and go back home. I mean, I, I expected the way that we were playing to be right there at the end of the ball game. And, um, you know, so I wouldn't say I was, I, it, it was frustrating at all. I, I think it just it shows the fight of these, these boys to, to be right there in the end. Sam and all the players up there, if y'all could just kind of put it into perspective, just being in this moment and having the opportunity ahead of you today and playing the way you did today uh, to kind of wrap up your year. <clears throat> uh, I mean, yeah, it was an awesome experience this weekend, being able to come down here and uh, or come up here and uh, end up being in front of big crowds, uh, you know, that we haven't quite got to play in front of all year. And um, just to be able to see our guys come together and, and not be afraid of the moment and really just uh, step up in, in big times was really fun to to see, and uh, I just think it's another building block for next year of how we're going to come back even stronger. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, we came out ready to play. A lot of fans, great atmosphere. All the fans that came, that was, that was awesome that they traveled that far to watch us play in, in this atmosphere. And uh, They had our backs the whole time. Everybody believed in each other. And Even with two outs, we thought we still had a shot with the way we've been swinging the bat. So 
this team never gives up, and I'll never forget uh, each and every play on this team, and next year we will be back. Pretty much what he said. Uh, we never stopped fighting. Uh, we had a bunch of leaders as seniors, and uh, they did a great job with our team. And uh, hopefully we can come back stronger next year. Sam, um, the weekend you had, <laughs> you almost upset that you're leaving the stadium because, I mean, just both offensively and defensively, you seem to really be on fire on all cylinders. Yeah, uh, the long ball is not really my game. So uh, to be able to put two out this weekend was a good experience and definitely a good memory that I'll have forever. But you know, I've been putting good swings on balls lately, uh, just having to put them over the fence this time. And you know, I'm just trying to make plays for my team whenever I can. And you know, that's, that's really what I'm known for is my defense. So I was glad I was able to step up for my team in that aspect. Hey, Bobby, uh, y'all are just stranding guys left and right all day. And you know, sometimes it, was a, you know, it took like a play like Sam made uh, in that diving catch with mm -hmm. two guys on. Um, how important was that just for, for y'all to, to be where you were at the end of that game and, and have a chance to win it there? Yeah, we made some good plays with men on base. Um, you know, um, they, they were pretty fortunate. I say fortunate, but a couple of hard contacts, you know, that, that we got outs on. Um, that, that's baseball. You know, we had we also had bases loaded with one out and didn't score in, in second and third and didn't score early in the game, too. So um, that's just kind of the way it works sometimes, you know, the way the game works. But it definitely helped held us there, held them there, you know, leaving those men on base.